guys, it's Sona and welcome back to the Destination Beauty channel. Today's video is going to be on this smoky eye tutorial inspired by JLo. She actually wore this look last year to the Golden Globes, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And for more videos, be sure to subscribe to the Destination Beauty channel. Let's get started. Starting off with my eyes, and I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Paris palette called 933 Cookies and Cream, and I'm going to go in with this silver color and apply this all over my eyelids. It's a beautiful metallic color, and it's just going to really complement the color she had on, um, on her eyes. So next, you're going to go ahead and use the white color in the palette and apply that on the inner corners of your eyes as well as your brow bone and this is going to really highlight those areas and if you have small eyes this is a great trick to kind of open up your eyes next we're going to go in with the black color in the palette and apply this on the outer corners and this is going to really create that dramatic smoky eye effect so you want to use a fluffy blending brush and apply this on the outer corners and then blend it all the way in but make sure that the concentration is just on the outer corners you want to do the same thing on the bottom lash line again you want the outer corners to be really dark and smoky and then in the inner corners you want more of that silver color to peek through so then you want to grab a makeup remover wipe and go ahead and wipe away any fallouts you may have and this is just a quick trick to doing uh, before you move on to the next step all right, next we're going to go ahead and use a black eyeliner on the inner rim and this one is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil and you just want to make sure that it's nice and black. All right, so I feel like JLo had a little bit of a plum shadow peeking through so for that I'm going to go in with my Honest Beauty palette and apply this color just on the crease and as you can see it does help warm up that area a little bit and the plum kind of peeks through which is really nice. You want to do the same thing on the bottom lash line as well. Of course, you want to curl your lashes and apply several coats of mascara. And today I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. So I'm just going to go ahead and layer this up so that it's nice and dramatic. Okay, so this part is always optional, but if you want to apply some falsies, go ahead and do that. Just make sure they're really close to your lash line so that you don't see the band, and then just secure them in place. I do like to go back to my mascara and layer it up one last time before moving on to the foundation. So for my foundation, I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. This is pretty new and it is amazing. So I like to just apply this all over my skin using a kabuki brush and then I like to go back into the sponge which comes with the foundation and kind of make sure that the coverage is nice and full. What I like about this is that it is buildable so you can do that. Um, next we're going to go ahead and highlight and conceal and for that I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and apply that under the eyes as well as the center of my face and then we're going to go ahead and blend this in place. All right, so next I'm going to use this palette by The Balm Cosmetics and it has pretty much everything you need. So highlight, bronzer, as well as blush. And I'm just going to apply the highlighter on the high points of my cheeks. And then of course the Cupid's bow and a little bit on the center of my face. And then I'm going to go in with the bronzer and apply that all over, kind of like a blush as well, because this has a little bit of shimmer to it. So it's just going to give that beautiful glow that JLo is known for. Lastly, we're going to go in with lip gloss and for that I'm using the Buxom lip gloss in Kimberly and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my lips and move on to the hair. For my hair, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil Lustrous Oil Serum and applying that all over to add some shine. And that's all for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and of course, for more videos, be sure to subscribe to the Destination Beauty channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!